Okay, first things first, I want to talk about some recommended Pokemon and items to have to help you and aid you while you're EV training. Okay, first Pokemon I recommend is an HM friend. Having Fly and Surf on you especially are pretty crucial for a ton of spots and very, very useful. And then having Strength and Cut on the side is a nice utility to have on you. Surf is also important because it can be used as an AoE attacker to kill those hordes we're going to be using to EV train on a lot quicker. Next up, you're going to need your Sweet Center with Sweet Scent PP maxed. We are going to be Sweet Sending and EV training with hordes. It's by far the quickest way to EV train, so I heavily recommend getting a Sweet Center and PP maxing it if possible. You can buy a PP max off the GTL for just around 20k Pokeyen. This Pokemon is a bit optional, but I do recommend carrying a utility catching Smeargle on you if possible, just in case you find a shiny. But if you're needing to EV train like around four or five Pokemon, you're just not going to have the inventory space or, or party space to be able to carry those, this. So it's just best to leave it by the wayside sometimes. And then one of the most important things while EV training is having AoE attackers. So... I recommend having three different types of AoE attackers because different spots will require different types. I think Earthquake is the least important one, but the three are Surf, Earthquake, and Discharge. So it's nice to have these. You don't need them. You can also go to alternative spots. Uh, if you just have like, if you only have one of them, if you only have like one Surfer, uh, you can go to alternative spots, which will all be linked in the description, instead of going to the, like the best objective spot to be able to still do this method with your you know with your limited resources and with what you have okay and now on to items the most important item you need while EV training is experience shares and i heavily recommend if you're going to be EV training to have at least four experience shares and try to EV train at least four pokemon at one time maybe three if you know if you if you need to but i definitely recommend trying to EV train four pokemon at one time as it's the most efficient possible Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of what my inventory, what my party would look like while, while I'm EV training. Okay, so my inventory usually looks something like this. I have my HM friend who is also my AoE attacker. I have my sweet center and then I have four Pokemon which I will be EV training within the same stat. So the first example is going to be HP. We're just going to go in the order that the stats are laid out within the stat screen. So I'll go ahead and show you. So I'll be showing you the best spots from now on eight through HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. And there will be a ton of alternative spots if you don't like these spots or don't have access to these spots within the description. All of the information displayed in this guide will just be taken from a text guide made by ActShit. So I heavily recommend checking that out on Pokemon Mo forums. It's a very well done guide. It's been heavily updated and kept up to date over the years. It's very, very helpful extremely good for new players recommend everyone checking it out okay but let's go ahead and get into the first spot which is going to be hp ev training it's going to be in hoenn near evergrand city it's going to be at the victory road of hoenn so you're going to bite down here you're going to go here and you're just going to hoard one space off of the entryway you can't hoard on that entry square but you can hoard one square directly off of it so and you're going to hoard Hariyama, and these are going to yield two HP EV each. So you're going to go ahead and AoE kill them. It's going to give you 10 HP EVs per horde. Pretty nice. Most of these hordes I'm going to show you today are going to give you, I think all of them, will give you at least 10 EVs per horde. And these are the best spots in the game for a lot of reasons due to either sp space between how close they are to a to a healing center and how close they are to you know to that spot as well as the total xp they give per horde is factored in as well as a ton of other things so these spots have been curated and calculated through and these are considered the objectively best ev training spots within pokemon mo okay but i'll go ahead and see you guys at the attack ev spot okay so here's the best attack ev training spot in the game we're gonna be starting here in celestic town in Sinnoh, right here on the map we're going to be starting from in front of the PC, biking west, going north, biking straight west into this little patch right here, and immediately sweet sitting. We're going to be encountering five hordes of Machoke, which give two attack EVs each. And you want to go ahead and AoE those down, and that's the attack spot. Pretty simple stuff. See you guys at the defense spot. Okay, the defense spot is actually slightly different from the other spots so far, just in the fact that you're going to need a discharger instead of a surfer. So let me go ahead and grab my discharge Pokemon, but I'm also going to need surf. And I don't have any ocarinas personally. It could be nice to have some ocarinas during EV training, especially spots like this, 
but you're going to start here in Undella Town. Fly to Undella Town, start right outside of the PC, hop on your bike, come a little west down these stairs, come south a little, go on the edge of this beach east, and make sure you surf in this spot. If you surf over on this edge where these players are, you'll actually surf into Mantine, which isn't the Pokemon you want to see. You're going to be wanting to see Pelipper, which are spotted in this spot. Make sure the top left says Undella Bay and not Undella Town. But this is what it's going to look like. You're just going to come in here with your Discharger. Go ahead and click Discharge. It'll till all of the Pelipper, and they're going to grant you 10 Defense EVs per Horde. Okay, now we're back in Hoenn for the special attack spot. So we're going to be up here in Fortree City. You can go ahead and fly here and see yourself in front of the PC. I'm going to bike right over here. You also don't need a discharger for this spot. You can just surf this spot. And you have to get off your bike so you can get into the tall grass. You're going to go ahead and sweet scent. And you're going to be encountering five gloom. And they're going to give you ten special attack EVs per horde. Even though they're a grass type, you should be able to just surf them down because they're only around level 24. This spot is just so close to the PC, making it by far the best special attack spot in the game. Now we're actually going right back to the spot we were at for Pelipper. We're going to be back in Undella Town, towards Undella Bay in the Unova region. But this time, we're going to be encountering those Mantine I mentioned earlier. So we're going to surf on here. We're going to Sweet Scent. And make sure you have a Discharger this time instead of a Surfer. Because it, Surf might not be able to kill these things. Also, I believe they have Water Absorb. So it's definitely not going to be able to kill them if they have that ability. Make sure you have your Discharger. Discharger is going to do four times damage to them. So you could actually have a lower level Discharger, maybe around like 60 or so. And it'll probably always one-shot the Mantine because they're flying in water type. So it's four times weak to electric. But that is the special defense spot. Each Mantine Horde is going to grant you 10 EVs in special defense with some pretty solid XP to boot. Okay, on to the last spot really quickly. Let's go ahead and see you guys at the speed EV spot. Okay, here we are outside of the PC towards the Speed EV spot. We're going to be in Luke Lucanosa Town, Lacanosa Town, in the Unova region. We're going to start outside of the PC. We're going to bike west really quickly and get right into this first patch of grass and then Sweet Scent. Try not to encounter the one square encounter. But you're going to sit in this patch of grass and you're going to Sweet Scent. You can have your Surfer for this. You don't need a Discharger for the spot. And you're going to be encountering Rapidash. These Rapidash will obviously give you 10 Speed EVs per horde so pretty fast ev training okay but that covers everything i wanted to cover in this video today i wanted to just this video to just be a quick video of the best spots and a light overview of how to ev train and how to set up your inventory if you guys want a more complex more full-on in-depth guide of ev training with all of the alternatives every single alternative spot listed i could think of on top of the ev reduction berry or berries explained let me know in the comments please leave feedback i really appreciate that but like this video if you liked it, disliked it, if you didn't, leave a comment, leave questions, leave feedback in the comments. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want more daily Pokemon mode content. Currently, I'm uploading two videos a day, which is a lot of work. So I really appreciate, you know, any appreciation shown for that and any, you know, likes, comments, subscriptions, etc. But anyways, have a great day. Peace and love. Petrowski.